So the All Schools goes into a school which has had no rugby programme whatsoever within it and we look to embed a sustainable rugby programme over three years, throughout year seven, eight to start off with and then to work into year nines and tens and throughout the whole school if possible. At this school in particular we decided to put it on the curriculum and really introduce it to a lot of students, although obviously we have a selection playing here today, all students in all year groups play rugby as part of their curriculum PE lessons and from that getting the pupils enthusiastic we've managed to get teams out in every single year group and, and play a lot of fixtures across, across the year. A lot of these pupils have never played rugby, a lot of their parents have never played rugby so a lot of them had an interpretation of rugby which you know was a bit extreme a bit critical of what happens in rugby and what we found initially there was some resistance however the way we presented it to them the opportunities we gave them it's now one of the most enthusiastically played sports at the school be it for those pupils in the teams or those pupils in the lessons we're in the summer term and pupils are still asking when rugby lessons are going to come back on and you know that's just can only bode well for the second year of the program keeps me energized active it's not like when it's, it's not like i get bored Playing rugby. Rugby is just like another part of my life. I could play whenever I want to. I used to mess about in a few lessons, but then rugby gave me discipline, so I behaved myself. I'm well behaved. I mean, one of the things which we liked about the uh, the old schools programs is obviously the messages about discipline and respect, which is clearly messages that we use a school value. And um, and some of the students who uh, have become involved. I think it's helped them to, to sort of display that discipline and respect. They understand what that means because they've got something like rugby that they can reference to it too. So I think it's been, you know, had an impact in, in terms of helping the school. There wasn't rugby in this school. I would most probably stay home and get a tutor to teach me at home. See, because rugby is just the best game I've ever played. Uh, I love it that much, I would just come to school just to play rugby, basically. It's taken a big initiative like the All Schools programme to give it the momentum. It's, uh, we, we, you know, a lot of the things that have been done are, are obvious and, and, and basic, and, but it, the branding, the support from the RFU, the constant sort of like visual aspect of it to all the pupils, and you know, the reward of taking them away to tournaments, the, the, the kit that they've got to wear, it's made everything really, really focused and really put rugby on the map. We've previously tried to get rugby going at the school on a number of occasions before I arrived, but this was the right time and it, it did the job exactly right for us. What have been the challenges to, to getting it introduced this time? What do you think's made the difference? I think the difference has been the, 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 the quality and not just the quality but all the little things that have gone alongside it such as for example you know the kit design. And I think that's really important you know that you know Canterbury sort of have invested in that because it does actually make a difference in terms of encouraging young people. They feel ownership for it and I think it's worked, worked, worked very well. So I wasn't sure what to expect because I was told that they didn't have much knowledge of rugby before um, they came into the school, uh, hadn't really played, hadn't watched much but um, I was genuinely really impressed with especially some of the girls. Their grit and determination and their competitive spirit is like really good and they're actually picking up some teaching points really well as well so it's not just the getting involved, it's actually the learning about the game and um, how to play. Michaela is a fantastic role model for rugby in itself and her coming down and actually giving the kids some time makes them feel worthwhile. They realise the benefit of it but it also gives them someone to look to progress towards and they've all just started saying they want to start watching her on TV now and when she's next going to be on and they said oh she's really pretty as well so you can still be pretty and play because a lot of them were worried about that because um, they like their appearance and obviously some of them wear the headscarves and things so they were worried about those kind of effects from the rugby might have but now they know that there's, there shouldn't be that many barriers in the way at all and that it's a really fun game to do. I like the adrenaline that runs through my body while I'm running. It's me vs the whole other team when I have the ball and my team accounts on me to do it. I'd really love to do it outside school. Like any time I'll find a club I would definitely join it. I have to be honest I've been absolutely flabbergasted by the impact that uh, that it's had in such a short space of time since September. They have really really taken to rugby and it's and it gives them something a real positive to, to, to focus on and a real want to come to school and, and everything so it helps with the learning tremendously in terms of that. My team, uh, they're, like, they're like family to me because we all get along well, we all help each other. Our big legacy and our big push is not 
being here and staying here, our big legacy is that the pupils play rugby here and then they take it on into the local clubs in the local area. And these boys are talented athletes, what they just need is exposure to more experience of rugby. I'm, I play at the back so I just get the ball and just run past people. I just love it when I run past them and see their faces saying, oh no, he's too quick for me, and then score the try. But rugby is definitely my, in my top three for sports, yeah, definitely. When I'm older, I want to become a rugby player, but then my, uh, my parents disagree with it, my family disagrees with it. <laughs> they want me to become uh, a lawyer or a doctor or an engineer. You know, if you look at our community, it doesn't have a, an understanding of, of what really rugby is. And, uh, and we're starting to actually work on that, and that's very exciting. It potentially could be a, a, a massive boost to the community. In fact, uh, at a, a recent uh, meeting that had at the mosque, it was, it was mentioned that actually it wouldn't be great if there was a, a, a more faro in rugby, which I thought was, uh, which was fantastic. So that's what we're going for. That's what we're going to do.